What's up everyone, my name is Trevor, and today I'm gonna show you how to add live effects to your microphone signal. Some possible uses for this are any voice over IP program, um, live streaming, and anything really that requires you to use your microphone. I'm, I'm doing it right now as I record this with open broadcaster software. So, a couple of the things you will need. You're gonna need Reaper, oh, sorry. Um, this is a nice little audio program that's pretty robust and has a nice trial. So you can go ahead and download that. And then you're going to need virtual audio cable. And this adds an additional sound device uh, to your computer, which I will show you right now in the recording devices. It'll be right here. It's called line one. And then underneath it, it says virtual audio cable. So that's what we'll be using. And then Last but not least, you're going to need some additional drivers called ASIO for All. Um, these are completely free. You can just download them right there. The 2.11 Beta 2 or whatever happens to be available when you're downloading it. Um, go ahead and in install all of those and open up Reaper. So I already have this open because I am using it right now as we speak. Um, so our goal essentially is to add some effects live so normally you would have to have hardware for this but i'm adding equalization um, i'm not i'm adding a little bit of compression just a little bit and then i'm i have a noise gate running as well so this is pretty valuable obviously if you don't have the hardware um, and if you have a computer fast enough to do it and you just don't want to bother with having a huge hardware setup you can just use software for it it's not quite as good but it works and i'm happy with it so without further ado let's get it set up forgot that if I shake this I minimize windows okay so we're gonna go to options and preferences down at the bottom and we're gonna make sure that our sound device here is set to ASIO for all and then we're gonna go down to the bottom and go to ASIO for all settings okay and once you have that open we're gonna make sure that virtual audio cable is selected and just out is selected okay um, actually I'm sorry when you first start out here there's gonna be a little wrench here and it's gonna look pretty simplified you want to click that wrench and it gives you some advanced options so virtual audio cable without selected and then your microphone with the in selected your microphone might not have a drop down like mine does because I have a sound interface with both an in and out um, say I wanted to use my webcam for this I would select that right there okay Make sure nothing else is selected because it's just going to get in the way. We only want to have the virtual audio cable with the out and the in on your microphone selected, okay? Uh, the next thing you want to do is while you're recording or testing this out, you want to be able to um, get this buffer size down as small as you can without hearing any glitches or pops. Um, this is just going to, I believe it makes your latency just a little bit better. Um, so we're adding, we're doing things to the microphone signal. It's, it has it has to kind of do a little round trip that takes a little longer than just adding the microphone signal directly to a program. So we want to keep latency low. Now, we're going to press Control T, which is going to add a new track. And then we're going to right click right here. And we're going to go down and click on monitor input, okay? And then we're going to right click again and make sure that record disable is selected okay and then we're going to arm the track i'm not going to arm this track because that would add all of these effects that i have running here again but you want to make sure this little red button is clicked and it's um it's armed okay now what this means uh right here having record disable it means that it's going to add the effects that you have selected here to the microphone signal and it's not going to record if you want to record which is totally fine make sure that you have this set to record input and then when you click this it'll start recording and that's basically it i mean whenever you open up a program um you're like i showed you here you're going to want to use there will be a new recording device basically in your program if you're using teamspeak uh, if you're using mumble and trillo skype uh, google voice i don't know whatever it is you want to use um, you're going to select line one, virtual audio cable. Now, <clears throat> if you don't 
want to hear your voice. Um, this is kind of tricky because everyone's going to have a different setup, but basically, if you want to monitor your voice, you can click on the out uh, for your headphones. If you select your headphones, it's going to route this back to your headphones. Um, if you have an audio interface on an analog microphone like me, there won't be much delay and you'll be able to actually listen to yourself as you adjust these effects. I'm not going to go over how to do the effects here, but these are all included um, with Reaper and they're they're quite easy to figure out. Just YouTube a couple tutorials. I might do some myself, but that, that would be for another video because that's a whole other ballpark. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any, any questions, feel free to leave comments. Uh, let me know what, what's going on and I'll try my best to help you out. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.